Hello friends, welcome to this session on real numbers and the first question we are going to answer today is what are what are real numbers? So as you know we are going to adopt a mechanism by which we will be answering one question in every session so that it becomes a good uh, method for you to build your concepts. So in the first uh, lecture we are going to discuss about what are real numbers. So the first question which comes to my mind the moment I encounter a phrase like this so why are we calling real numbers real numbers? So numbers as we all know have a you know we have um, encountered numbers in every sphere of life so whenever Virat Kohli hits a century we know what this number is. So every time you know someone scores a goal so I know you know uh, let's say France defeated Brazil in a football World Cup match by let's say 4-2 so I know four goals were scored by France and two by Brazil so everything you know uh, is you know the numbers are helping us in our day-to-day -day life for and best example is our phone number so nine double zero something like that if you have a number I know when and how to reach a person so uh, be it trade be it sports be it your score marks or whatever you know in your school everywhere we have numbers and since our childhood we have been encountering different types of numbers and the first type of number if you recall the first set of numbers you studied was nothing but natural numbers if you remember natural numbers so natural numbers are nothing but the counting numbers counting numbers which we use like one two three four like that so all these numbers are nothing but they are called natural numbers but the problem was natural numbers the problem with natural numbers was and if you know we represent this set by a letter n n for natural now the problem with this set was that if i had two equal numbers let's say if i when i didn't know or when we the civilization human civilization didn't know about zero and you might be aware that it was an indian uh, mathematician called aryabhatta who gave the world uh, the symbol zero so let's say before him when people were not aware of you know uh, how to represent nothingness so this was a problem the so problem was how to find out what is 2 minus 2 because 2 plus 2 is very easy and we know that 2 plus 2 is 4 which also belongs to the same set of natural numbers if you see 4 is here right but 2 minus 2 there was no number rep to represent this and then hence um, humans you know uh, coined a new symbol of zero and then including zero so zero was the new symbol which was you know found out and then zero plus the set of natural number gave you the set of whole numbers so whole numbers as you now know uh, is a set of nothing but zero one two three and so on and so forth so the problem was problem of two minus two was solved with the help of zero but again humans encountered a problem when they wanted to subtract let's say three from five so till let's say your fourth and fifth grade when you are not taught integers so you don't know what the answer would be and hence they you know they formulated new set of numbers they called it negative numbers and together with all the negative numbers negative numbers like negative numbers negative numbers were like minus one minus two minus three and so on and so forth together with negative numbers and the whole numbers a new set of you know numbers were formed and they were called the integers represented by z so z was nothing but if you see lots of negative numbers minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and so on and so forth okay now uh, again you know the the problem of subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number was solved by discovery of the, let's say integers but what about you know division so for example uh, 10 upon 2 was 5 so everyone knew the answer but the moment it was 10 upon 3 there was no answer in the set of integers isn't it so hence what we had to do we had to you know invent a new set of new set of numbers and uh, you know uh, I'll write here so the new set of numbers were rational numbers right so we invented or discovered whatever word whichever word you want to use rational numbers okay so you all know the rational numbers in your ninth grade you might have studied that rational numbers are of the form of p by q where p and q are integers so p and q are are integers are integers and one 
vital information is q shouldn't be zero because uh, division by zero is not allowed in mathematics and uh, p and q are co primes p and q are co primes co primes are a pair of numbers whose uh, highest or greatest common divisor is one right so these are the three criteria of defining rational numbers right so this was also done but then again uh, human humanity again hit a dead end when they were trying to find out a uh, solution to things like what is root of Two. So what should be multiplied with itself to get two again? There was no solution to such problems and hence because of this another set of numbers were discovered and they were called irrational numbers irrational Irrational numbers. So those numbers which were not rationals were called irrational numbers So if I have to if I have to show it in a you know in a, a set notation or a Venn diagram form uh, which you will study anyways in 10th uh, sorry 11th grade you will see that uh, this is how we can represent let's say all the numbers so you can you can do this so this is let's say my sorry yeah so what i'll do is yeah so let's say this is my set of natural numbers so if you see this is set of natural numbers added to it is zero and you add to it a zero and you'll get a set of bigger set of numbers and we can call it as whole numbers right so a zero was added to this yeah this is whole number now, now add it add to it a set of all negative numbers negative numbers and you will get another bigger set which is which we call as integers integers so all negative numbers were added so if you see the set of natural number is smaller than set of whole numbers which is again smaller than natural uh, sorry integers now integers is another set within a bigger set and this set is uh, called rational numbers isn't it so and rational numbers are rational numbers are denoted by a letter q you all know this is q so q is rational numbers and then then we have added to it irrational numbers and you will get a bigger set still and this bigger set is called this bigger set is called real numbers so that's what we saw q add and uh, add to it irrational numbers i so i was added to it and then this bigger set is real numbers so if you see there's a bigger set which come encompasses all the different types of numbers which we have studied so far right so natural number we say in technical terms is a set subset of w w is a subset of integers integers set of integers is a set subset of rational numbers and rational numbers and irrational numbers put together comprise of real numbers okay this is what in uh, let's say in diagram notation now now you must be wondering why do we call real numbers real so what is the reason we call them real now the story goes back to 17th century so don't think that we are using this term real numbers for this particular set of numbers uh, prior to we were not using it prior to 17th century when uh, you know a famous french scientist uh, not scientist he was basically a philosopher but he had contributed a lot in the field of mathematics and physics so french uh, philosopher and his name was philosopher and his name was rene Rene Descartes okay and this was this was this is the same philosopher um, on whose name we have today something called Cartesian coordinate system Cartesian coordinate coordinate system so you might have studied in history that this was the time when Renaissance was uh, going on in Europe and uh, Rene Descartes was one of the you know uh, philosophers who who inspired several other philosophers and scientists so the concept of real number was first used by french philosopher rene descartes now why why did he use this concept of real number so what he was doing was he was trying to solve polynomial equations polynomial equations so uh, polynomial equations you have already encountered uh, to an extent and uh, equations right so few of them some examples of them are like linear equations you have already studied linear equations in one and two variables linear equations and then you have also studied or you might have studied quadratic equations as well correct so many a times if you if you see you don't find a 
solution to a particular equation for example uh, if you have studied quadratic equation then good enough you might have encountered this otherwise even if you have not so let's say if i have equation like x square plus 3x plus 1 equals 0 so i do not have any 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 real value of x so you won't, you can't find any value of x within this within this set of real numbers there is no value of x within this set of real numbers which will make this polynomial equal to 0 right so hence when René Descartes was solving such equations he said that okay there are no solution in the set of real numbers but then he coined something called some uh, he another you know so again uh, mathematicians hit a dead end so how to solve such equations and hence something called imaginary numbers imaginary numbers were discovered which came to rescue and now we have solution to these type of equations also in a set of imaginary numbers which is again part of a complex number which we'll study in grade 11 this thing in grade 11 you will be studying so this is what he was trying to do and to differentiate between let's say real and real and imaginary so let's say he was trying to differentiate it from imaginary numbers imaginary solutions to equation like this and he coined the term real and since then we are using it in our you know mathematics courses and it has become a wild uh, wide area of study so in higher grades you'll be studying things like real analysis real algebra etc okay etc so this is the introduction to let's say um, our real numbers now one important uh, uh, property or more important characteristic of real number is we can express or represent them in a number line so what one good thing about real number is we can express them in a number line so this is very important number line and hence and hence every number every real number every real number real number can be can be can be expressed or represented let's use the word represented 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 on a number line let let us see it how on a number line number line so whether it is 1 whether it is 0 whether it is 0 0.5 whether it is 0 0.33 bar or whether it is root 2 or 3 root 7 you name it if it is real number it can be expressed in a number line so let me show you how so if you see here there is a number line already drawn right so if you can see it starts with you know uh, let me zoom a bit in and then you see there is zero here right so there are equal intervals between the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 on the right hand side minus 1 2 3 so if you can, if you can see we have we have order here isn't it order in numbers all numbers are ordered so minus 1 comes before 0 and 0 comes before 1 and so on and so forth this particular property is called ordinality ordinality so all the numbers all the real numbers have order you know are can be arranged in an order now you can find out any number you know let's say where is where is 3.5 so you have to go to 3.5 c 3.5 is here i can also go to 3.56 how so three, if i zoom in so this is 3.6 so let's 3.56 i have to find out so if you see 3.55 3.56 is here right so you can go in and in and you can get all the numbers represented here so if you as you keep zooming in you will see all the numbers coming there so you name it and the number will be there between any two points in the number line so that's the unique characteristic of real numbers anything so any any number can always or you can always express it in a number line so i think uh, we could answer in this uh, session what did we learn we learned what are real numbers what are what are real numbers so you now know what are real numbers and we also understood the concept why are they called real numbers why are they called called real numbers real numbers and thirdly we saw representation 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 of of real numbers real numbers on a number line.
on a number 9 i hope you enjoyed the session so for next question or next set of sessions please subscribe to our channel and you will be getting uh, regular updates on these sessions thanks a lot